This poem is titled Snowflake. It's about the stint I spent in Utah and how some of the brothers saw us. you while I was playing chess, spitting in words to compensate for lack of blackness. Your white friends ask, is it cool? You say, whatever happens, I got your back, and they use you as a talking point, anoint you as their token black all because you wanted friends. So you sold us out as quick as you could, when you probably should have kept it real with yourself and from whence you came. It's all the same you tell yourself, we're all human, so you can feel better about your choice. Instead, you use your voice to speak about foolishness, thinking it wouldn't come back to haunt you. Your clueless manifestos come out for all the people to see, and now they use them against you, but all you wanted was friends, so you shrug it off. You learn to play disc golf so you could fit in, but in reality, behind your back, all your friends treat you like shit. They talk bad about you. They got jokes about your skin. As an outsider looking in, they will see how mean-spirited they are. You disrespect black women, make rumors about their hygiene. You call them ghetto, beloved on others you see as clean. That fiery Latina, that white lady, they all get a pass from you. You look everywhere else for that ghettoness, the same ghettoness that birthed you. The same attitude who took up for you in school, more often than not she laid hands. Those same loving hands that hugged you place no one above you. So you turn your back on them, say you're universal. Until that other calls you a nigger, then you take it personal. Does it hurt to look in the mirror after doing all of that? Or do you see me as another black woman attack? I love you. I'm just trying to tell you the truth. Those other friends aren't worth it. While you were clowning, I was the sleuth. Detective, watching it all go down. Now the question is, really holds the crown. Why you do that, man? Was it really that serious? I mean, damn. You got people out here calling us black bitches. But they don't never call anybody else that. What's up with that?